Sometimes I feel invincible The sun, the moon, they share the skies with us invisible And when the wind blows, everything moves together Our only impulse is to improve our brethren The crowds of the disallowed should take the crown Take the crown and bring it down Disembowel, let's see if there's a heart in there Cause it seems like they are the care But on the real right now Tell me what is it you care about If you had to shout it out Would you even make a sound Living in a real nice house Where nobody knows you Whip and run a real nice car With nowhere to go to Thinking you got real life problems Nobody told you Told you none of this will last for long no night for long We won't let it happen out here Break the gates and raise the sirens Go and when the path is unclear Cut the brakes and take the high road Oh, but when it all goes back Tell me when it all goes back Where will they leave us at? Who knows? Beneath the lights of paradise And I am miserable The sun, the moon, they share the sky And I am in Cause when the sea rolls, everything swims together But all our eagles come and sink the vessel Towns in the river now, sipping down Bowing to a different power, tripping now Feels like they all aware, but it seems like they hardly care On the real right now, tell me what is it you care about If you had to shout it out would you even make a sound? Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Vegan Nirvana here. Welcome back and if you're new, welcome. Um, so today I decided that I'm going to film a video on something that everyone has been wondering about lately and that's Claire Michelle. Now, Claire Michelle is one of my most favorite YouTubers. She's one of the many YouTubers that you know, has basically transformed my life. She's always been inspirational and she's always been such a positive influence on everyone. And everyone's just been a bit worried about her lately because of some of her current actions. But I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I feel about that and how I think that she's doing and my opinion on all of that. So along with that, I did a little bit of yoga for you guys. I'm also going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day. Basically, if that interests you, just stay tuned for the video and let's get right into it. You were the shadow to my light. Did you feel us? Another star. You fade away, afraid our aim is out of sight Wanna see us alive Where are you now? Where are you now? Where are you now? Was it all? So, as you guys can see, I'm showing you my smoothie bowl as per usual. Basically today, like you saw in the video before, what I added was some mixed berries. So, some raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, and then I added some vanilla protein powder and three dates. Um, on top, I have chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, dried goji berries, peanut butter, and some coconut shavings. Okay, you guys. So like I stated before, we're going to talk about Claire Michelle. So I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think about her whole situation because I personally don't see anything wrong with what she's doing. She had just dealt with this a few months ago with another person who had told them that, you know, that they loved her. Everyone thinks that Claire, um, she met this guy at Whole Foods. Apparently, word on YouTube is that she moved in a week later with him and they're living this happy fairy tale, blah, 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 blah. Well. 
basically people are saying that Claire's on drugs and that she is in danger and that they don't think that she's living her life properly with this guy believing that he's her soulmate and all that they think that he's dangerous which I highly disagree Claire has a good head on her shoulder so this guy I mean I don't know some people are saying that he's trying to maybe sugar her up a little bit so that he can control her and that it could turn into something toxic I don't believe that everyone has their own healing path and journey and Claire for years has been trying to reach her higher self as I stated in my video before, why I chose my name, I added Nirvana to the word vegan, and I explained why, and everyone knows that Nirvana is basically your highest state of happiness, pure self, like you, there's no worries, you're just happy. Well, Claire's been trying to reach that state for a few years now, and she's finally at that point, and people want to tear her down because she's happy, and she's trying to enjoy her life. And this is all because she posted a video relabeling herself as vegan, and she had said in the video that the night before she cried more than she has her entire life because she was reflecting on her childhood and opened up some wounds and she just bawled her eyes out so her eyes were really puffy while in the video she didn't open her eyes the entire time which was freaking people out they thought that she was on drugs and maybe just you know not opening her eyes because of that reason she said it was because her eyes were so swollen and basically in the video she was just she seemed extremely happy she was rambling off a little bit but she did seem happy it seemed like the typical player that i know from her videos that i've watched for a few years now she seemed like herself to me but in a happier sense like her her external reality has become a dream for her and yes she still is living in reality but she's also living it in a dream state in a basically in a perspective of positivity she's living it in the way that she sees the world well basically the thing with claire is she's always lived in a positive perspective with life like she at one point she did see negativity but she healed herself from that and the way i see it is there's nothing wrong with that she decided to delete all of the pictures off of her instagram and off of her youtube and it's because people were feeding into the old videos of who she used to be before she healed and became her higher self. You can't judge her based on the past her, and you can't judge her based on the future her because they're not the same person. You know, we're all on our healing journey in life. Hers is different from ours, and we can't judge her because she's doing better with herself and she's happy. Like, people don't like to see people happy, so they make up anything they can. So there's all of these stupid rumors going around YouTube and Instagram and whatnot about her and it's insane it blows my mind she posted this beautiful piece of art with him and her in it you know they're both you know lovey-dovey and stuff and calling each other babe and saying i love you and soulmates and all of that and he's saying these things back and he's allowing her to film this content and put it on social media if he didn't care about her he wouldn't be allowing her to air him on her social media because we've all seen this guy like if he was dangerous or controlling or toxic at all he would not be letting her put his face on social media so that we all know that she's with him because if he was dangerous and if anything happened we all know and we all know who he is and what he looks like and we'd be able to find him he i believe that she met someone maybe her twin flame or soulmate like she says who truly loves her and wants to get to know her and has probably never met anyone like claire because claire is different claire is love and it's not often that you stumble across people like that so in my opinion, like I've said multiple times throughout the video, I think that she's just growing. I think that she's reached her point where she wants to be happy and we should be happy for her. It's not our business to be judging her because she's happy. All of the time, all of her videos about her eating disorders and just, you know, negative occurrences that happened in her life before, no one ever said anything negative on those, but she posts a video of her finally finding, finding someone who loves her and everyone freaks out I'm looking at it from the point of view like from all of the years of videos that I've watched of hers and her growth throughout her growth I, I mean there are people who are commenting on her videos and stuff like that and her Instagram pictures and stuff and there are people who are making negative videos on the fact of like the fact that she deleted everything and things like that and these people are people who didn't watch her videos two three years ago these are people who don't even know her and who she was before she is the person she is now 
She's come such a long way. She deserves all of the happiness in her life right now. And I just think that people should leave her alone and stop bullying. I think that she's gonna continue to spread love, continue to spread the vegan message. And you never fully heal. You don't, that's just the truth. You never fully heal, but you get to a point where, you know, you live your life through love and you love yourself completely. And I just think that she's at that point and people should stop judging her for that. She posts something that makes her happy and everyone gives her negative backlash because of it. She deserves respect for being vulnerable. We've seen the way she is, how she carries herself. And if you really know Claire, you know that she's just at a point where she's healed. She's found someone. When we find people, they consume our time. Yes, we want to be loved. She's wanted to be loved for a very long time now. And I mean, she's found that person in her eyes. And if, he, if she wants to feel that way about him and she wants to be happy with him, and she wants to back off of social media for a while or delete old content so that we'll stop feeding off of who she used to be instead of who she's flourished and grown into today, let her, let her live. Don't get me wrong, I completely understand why people are worried. I mean, she deleted everything and it, it's just like, whoa, it was a big shocker, but it makes sense why she did because people were negatively draining off of the, you know, draining her off of her old content. And that's who she used to be, the reflection of who she used to be before she's grown to who she is today. So honestly, I'm excited, Claire, for you, your new content. I really hope you see this video. Your art, when it comes to filming, has grown so so much throughout the years like it's literally mind-blowing I hope to be as good as you one day so yeah basically that concludes that I just wanted to tell you guys how I felt about Claire Michelle um, you can leave in the comments below on what you think's going on or why you think that she's been acting the way she has um, just let me know what you think and yeah basically that's my opinion I think everyone should back off of Claire leave her alone and just let her live her life we're constantly evolving we're constantly growing and flourishing Things change and things aren't always going to be the same, especially when you're spiritual and you're on the search for your higher self. Claire just has love pouring from the cosmos into her soul right now and I'm happy for her. Yeah, so I love you Claire. I hope you don't let anyone affect you and continue to just be you. Okay you guys, so I stated before that I was going to do like sort of like a what I eat in a day, but after recording the whole rant on Claire Michelle, I think this video is too long and I don't want you guys to get bored. So. I'm gonna film my basic lunch really quick and then that's gonna be pretty much the end of this video. So basically what I'm gonna do is something very basic and I do this on really lazy days and today's a lazy day so don't judge me guys. We've all probably done it before, us vegans. But I'm literally about to take a russet potato, put it on a plate, poke some holes in it, microwave it and then add some nutritional yeast and ketchup on top. That's like literally one of my most favorite lazy go-tos. Sometimes I'll eat like two or three of them but yeah, I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'm gonna show you guys like what it looks like, I guess. And then I'm gonna do my outro. And yeah, so if you wanna keep watching, keep watching. Next, I like to take the Bob's Red Mill Nutritional Yeast Flakes and I sort of just add on what I want, I guess. This isn't the prettiest meal, you guys. It's literally like what broke vegans eat okay so no judgments here and that's my potato with nooch and ketchup all right you guys so that pretty much concludes my video um if you liked it please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and do a good deed man i hope you guys have a great day spread some love i guess just leave in the comments down below how you feel about claire michelle and how her life's going right now and all of the drastic changes that are occurring in her life and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have a great day and peace and love, man.